Let's talk about Peloton. I, the stock is all over the place. That's the one-year chart. But just look at look at the right-hand corner. There is a what looks like a fairly diminutive spike, <laughs> but in percentage terms. That's absolutely enormous. Now, we've seen overnight this news coming out that there's going to be a, a huge shakeup of the fitness company. Um, that's now reached the C-suite. Uh, we've got uh, the CEO stepping down, a new CEO coming in. Talk that maybe we're going to see other C-suite uh, exits as well. What does this all mean in terms of the idea that potentially we could see an acquisition here, changes coming? Well, let's go to San Francisco uh, and bring Ed Ludlow into the conversation. Ed, what is this? What are these changes a recognition of? Are they a recognition yeah. of that there is now a need for, a, for an acquisition? Or are these changes a recognition that the company just needs a different direction? Yeah, I mean, it, the stock move is, is crazy, right? And I think you take each of the actions in isolation. So first off, John Foley steps down as chief executive officer, becomes executive chairman. Uh, this is a company that he founded a decade ago, right? 2012. Um, for those on Global Wall Street that want to see this potential takeover happen, I think that, you know, Foley stepping aside increases the likelihood that a Nike, an Amazon, potentially an Apple or a Disney could come in with with a bid, right? Because but because Ed, of the dual class share structure. Well, it's talking yeah. of the he still remains a shareholder. He has those super majority yeah. shares. So don't you still need his sign off for any deal? Well, that's why I point out, remember, he's the founder of this company, mm. and it's a decade in the making, and a lot of it was around psychology, right? He personally has come under attack from Blackwell's, the activist investor. They've issued a statement basically saying, we're happy that he's stepping aside. We're not happy that he's hand-picking hand -picking directors for the company. So that you know, that's one point. The other point is who comes into the seat, right? Barry McCarthy, a well-respected former CFO of Spotify and Netflix. You have JP Morgan saying that this guy has credibility of the street. He's proven that he knows how the subscription model works. And remember, before the idea of an M&A and acquisition, a takeover came about, the whole conversation was, what is the future for Peloton? Because it's grown to a point where it can service levels of demand in terms of the hardware, the bikes, the treadmills, that just aren't there anymore. You know, So they wanted to see somebody yep. that could reinvent Peloton to more of a services and higher margin revenue business.